Hello everyone and welcome back to Crafters MC Skyblog. This is episode 7 and today we are finally going to be making our island look better. Currently everything is built out of cobblestone. We have random chests scattered all over the place and there's like random holes and water all over our island. It really just does not look very good so we're going to be making everything better and as always we're going to be grinding a ton as well. Now if you don't remember last episode we got a lot more minion slots and place down a ton of new minions. It does look like most of our coal minions inventories are full so we can collect up all of these resources. We can then turn all of the coal into enchanted coal and if we take the rest of the enchanted coal that we have been saving up we should be able to make a couple blocks of enchanted coal and then if we take two blocks of enchanted coal and a couple pieces of enchanted iron we can now craft an enchanted lava bucket which increases the speed of of a minion by 25% for an unlimited duration and these are gonna be super useful. Now we were able to craft the two of them and we will be giving these to our minions in a second but first it looks like our lapis minions inventory is full so we can collect up all of these resources as well. Same with our spider minion. It looks like all of our blaze minions inventories are full as well and in between episodes I was able to upgrade these guys a couple of times so we should now have a ton of blaze rods which we can then turn into enchanted blaze powder and that brings us up to two stacks of enchanted blaze powder which means we're still nowhere close to being able to craft the blaze armor but we will be working on getting more blaze minions in this episode and we should also be able to use our enchanted lava buckets to upgrade these guys a little bit and then last episode we also gave our oak log minion a compactor and we should now have a ton of enchanted logs and if we actually take the medium minion minion backpack out of our uh, level 7 blaze minion we should be able to upgrade it to a large minion backpack and I don't think we're gonna be crafting a lot of these just because it is so expensive and we really don't need that much inventory space but I do want to craft one up and if we now give it back to our blaze minion they should now have a ton of storage oh my goodness but yeah that was insanely expensive so I think we're just gonna be sticking with medium minion backpacks for right now now, with all of the minions taken care of, there were a couple of things that actually happened in between episodes. We mined up a ton of cobblestone, and we now have enough to make another super compactor, but I did get a little bored, so I went obsidian mining for a little bit. Now, to my knowledge, obsidian isn't really that useful, except to craft a tree capitator. And this breaks, like, a lot more logs than a jungle axe breaks, so it's really good. It does cost eight stacks of enchanted obsidian, though, and right now we're at 18 blocks so we still have a long ways to go. I also streamed a couple of days ago and it was mostly us just messing around and last episode we fought some slayers which are kind of like bosses. We were able to defeat the level 1 and 2 bosses but we pretty much died immediately to the level 3. There were a bunch of overpowered people watching the stream though so we got a huge group together and spawned in a tier 3 and we were actually able to defeat it. Wait oh we got it let's go Tier 3 dead. We did it twice and it was a bunch of fun and I still don't think I've collected the rewards from the second Slayers so we can do that now. Oh and that is Slayer level 3 so we can claim these rewards as well. And we also got a ton of revenant flesh from those bosses and an undead catalyst which I don't really know what this does. But yeah it was a ton of fun fighting those bosses and thank you for everyone who helped out. I think before we even try and start defeating a tier 4 boss I kind of want to be able to solo a tier 3, which does mean getting better armor and weapons, so we'll probably not be able to do that in this episode, but I'm hoping by the next episode we should be able to do it. Now on that live stream we also visited a lot of people's islands, and compared to mine they all looked a lot better. Also if you don't know, there's another crafters MC YouTuber by the name of Toasted. He makes very funny videos on this server, so if you haven't already, go subscribe to him, his link will be in the description. But we were hanging out on stream a couple of days ago and he visited our island and said Pretty interesting farm layout. He's got his melon farms, right? But then after that, he's got all potatoes. Slates, I'm sorry, man, but until they release the harvesting enchantment, it is actually not that optimal to farm potatoes by hand. So first off, we have to harvest all of these potatoes by hand because this is very efficient. 
Okay, never mind. I was very wrong. But he also said... I do say that in terms of his starting island, it's okay. It's all right. And we can't just have an okay island. So today we are going to be redoing all of this. I think we're gonna make our main island look a ton better with a better enchantment setup, a much better storage system, probably a better cobblestone generator as well. And we also need to light up this entire place because these mobs just keep spawning. Now, just a disclaimer, I do have to say I'm not like the greatest at building, but I do have a couple of pretty good ideas that I do think will make this place look a lot better. But first, I think we're gonna start by cleaning up this island a little. We're probably gonna move most of our minions so I think we can take apart this. Oh, wait, what? We just got a pink sheep on our island. Okay, that is actually pretty cool. You might have to keep this guy. No! Wait, what? Oh, no, what have I done? I just accidentally used the, uh, the iron punch ability and it killed the sheep. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, without the minions, this is already looking a lot different. And then next up, we can also take apart this bridge over here. And I know we just made these last episode, but we can take down these blaze and spider houses as well because we can make them look a ton better. I think we're also gonna get rid of this cobblestone generator for right now and we'll make a new one. So what I'm thinking is I kind of want to have this main island like a ton bigger and then we'll just have other islands scattered around the place for things like our minions, our cobblestone generator, our farms, definitely a storage island as well because we, we really need a place to put all of our items. So I've done a little bit of planning. I think this is how big we want the center main island to be, although I might make it a little bit smaller. And then surrounding it, we'll have a bunch of smaller islands like our cobblestone generators, so for our minions like storage and a bunch of other stuff okay another quick update nothing felt really symmetrical so i lined everything up and this should now be looking a lot better so we'll have the middle islands here a little bit bigger and then these ones will be the more important ones with minions on them and then the side ones will be a little bit smaller and then i think to get to the islands we have like these floating rocks in between either that or maybe just like a bridge but i feel like this looks really cool oh and and this is actually gonna look so cool. Now next up we have to fill in all of these circles and make it look like an island. We should hopefully be able to just buy stone from the shop. Yes we can. Oh wait never mind. Okay there's a limit on how much stone you can buy a day. Okay we might need to set up our cobblestone generator again. But yeah I think that's how big we're gonna want most of the islands to be. And then we pretty much just have to fill it all in. And that is the first island complete. It probably needs a little bit of touch up and we need to probably add some different like blocks into it. But we have another six to do. So I kind of just want to get them all done and then make them look better afterwards. <laughs> And all of the islands have been outlined now, and this is starting to look very cool. I've tried to go with some that are, like, bigger and then some that are smaller to kind of change it up a little bit, and I I'm liking how it looks. This is probably going to take a very long time to fill them all in, so I've placed back all of our blaze minions to keep working on getting us blaze rods. Oh, and that minion is now floating. Nice. And just for efficiency, I do want to craft up a couple more blaze minions, just because we do have the minion slot now. They're probably just gonna be level 1 minions for right now, but at least it's a little bit more blaze rods as we keep working on these islands. And after a couple of hours, we finally have all of the islands filled in, and this is starting to look very nice. They definitely do look very plain, though, so I think that's what we're going to be focusing on next. But before we do that, I kind of want to take a break from building for a little bit and do some grinding. I was able to sell a couple of stacks of enchanted cobblestone, and that gave us, like, another 200,000 coins that we can put in the bank as well. And then also, all of our blaze minions have been working a lot as well, and we should have a good amount of blaze rods. And I'm pretty sure we should now have enough enchanted blaze powder to make our first 
enchanted blaze rod. Now we just need another 23 of these to make an entire set of blaze armor. So yeah, this is probably going to take us a little bit of time. Now, last episode, we did a ton of quests to get like some new items and stuff. But if we actually travel back to the park and coming over to this camping site in the dark oak zone, there is this Phoenix NPC. And talking to him, we actually get a quest where we can get a campfire badge by staying alive on the campfire for 10 seconds. I'm pretty sure this is the campfire, so we can step on it. Oh yeah, okay, so we just gotta stay here for 10 seconds. And that should be the quest complete. Nice. Oh, okay, so if we talk to him again, we now have to stand in the fire for 15 seconds, I think. Oh, okay, never mind. It's 15 damage a second, and we still have to stand on here for 10 seconds. Oh, we should hopefully still have enough health. Yeah, we're good. And talking to him again, I think there's probably a third part to this quest, right? Oh, never mind. Okay, we got the campfire badge, which generates 8 health per second while burning. Um, And I think it actually gave us, yeah, a trial of fire 3, which is 25 damage a second. And so we can try it out uh oh it's def oh it's doing a lot of damage oh no we didn't make it we're not strong enough okay <laughs> what might make us strong enough though is the wand of healing which gives us 60 hearts per second for seven seconds and so let's try it again uh i think we're gonna use it now is this oh yeah this should work yes yes this should work okay good so that's trial of fire three done and it says you must hold your badge in your hand to upgrade it so let's upgrade it oh okay yeah now we regenerate generate 10 health per second while burning. So yeah, I think it's just gonna keep going. We're now on trial of fire four, which is 35 damage a second. But I think we should be able to do it with our healing wand. Uh, th this thing's actually overpowered. Yeah, we should be good. There is trial of fire four. And also I just realized we have our miner set on right now. It might help to actually put on our golem armor, which gives us a lot more health. That's trial of fire five. That's number six complete. That's number seven. That's number eight. And I don't think we're gonna quite be able to do number nine. We're so close though. So I guess for right now, we'll stick with Trial of Fire level eight. And as we get more OP, we can keep upgrading it. Now with the break done, we should probably get back to working on these islands because they, we still got a lot to do. I think this first island here is gonna be where we put our cobblestone generator. And I kind of want to make it look kind of like a factory. I don't know quite how we're gonna do it, but we'll, we'll play around with it and hopefully we'll make something that looks good. Now for the actual cobble generator, we do have this one here, but I think there's actually a more efficient one that I've seen a lot of other people use. And I'm pretty sure it's made something like this. Where we put lava on one side and then lava flowing down on the other side. And we might need a couple of trapdoors as well because there's just water everywhere. And with all of that now cleaned up, we should just be able to look up and walk forward and they should all, yeah, regenerate. And then we can just keep going back and forth and I think... I think this is more efficient than the other cobblestone generator we had. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think that was actually a lot faster. Like, we filled up our inventory very quick. I think we might as well just put both of the cobblestone generators on this island because we do have enough room. And although this one might be a little bit more efficient, this one actually generates stone somehow. I really don't understand how this cobblestone generator works. But somehow it generates stone, and that's really good for building. So I think we'll just keep both of them. And so yeah, I think the only thing left to do is to to start building up this first island. Now looking at the builder shop, there's actually a ton of different like block variants that we can pick from. And I think since this is like a factory, I kind of want to go with like a bunch of brick builds. I really don't know how this is going to turn out, but I guess we can start by moving both of the cobblestone generators onto the island and making them look better. And that is both of the buildings complete. This looks really nice. So we first have this huge factory house, like, cobblestone generator here. And I really like the insides of this. This looks awesome. And then we can kind of just go along and mine up all the cobblestone we want. And then we also have, I guess we're going to call it, like, the stone generator where, where we can walk up here and just mine for a bunch of stone. Now, the last part to do in this island is make the actual island part look better. I'm beginning to think that grass doesn't spread on this server or it just spreads really slowly. So that might be a pain. Oh, yeah. Okay. It, it might just spread really slowly. And that should be the entire first island complete.
I probably have a little bit more work to do just at the bottom, making it not look so stony, but we're already running out of time for this episode, and we have like seven more islands to do. Now, next up is the mob minion island, where we'll keep all the minions for like zombies, blazes, spiders. And I accidentally made this pattern here, but it actually kind of looks good. Like, if we center it more on the island, this would be a great place to store all of our mobs. I'm thinking about making it like jungle themes, kind of with like these as like some jungle temples. So, first off, I have to clear out my inventory because we have so much random stuff and then we can pick up all of the minions oh and that is blaze rod level nine nice and then we added another layer of grass just to elevate it a little bit and i'm pretty sure this looks pretty good it looks pretty centered and then for the place we actually put the minions i actually really like how this looks and then we can access it from this trap door up here and that is all of the blaze minions in place now it's looking a little plain so i kind of want to remove the middle and we are actually going to fill in this space with a mob dropper now obviously we have minions to spawn in mobs and kill them for us but they do have a time between actions like our blaze minion level 7 has 18 seconds every time he spawns in or kills a blaze but for mobs to take fall damage we can skip the part where the minions actually have to kill the mobs and they'll die to fall damage instead so that means instead of a minion action being spawning or killing a mob it'll just be spawning and and that pretty much will double the minions time unfortunately we can't do it with blazes because these guys can just fly but we do really need to start spawning a ton of spiders and this farm will work perfectly for that so we can start by placing in a ton of hoppers for the spiders to fall on now i don't know how high we're gonna have to go but maybe something like this this should work okay this looks like it's working i think the only downside though is that if we collect uh the items from the chest we don't actually get like the collection rewards but it is still pretty efficient so i might play around with it uh like in between episodes and stuff we also have a level four cave spider minion so i guess we can place that one in as well and then we'll get even more string and that should be the entire mob island complete all right, on to the next island. I've already kind of started, but I think this one and the other small island over here are going to be for storage. I really don't think it's going to be that fancy. I kind of just want to do like a, a plains biome. Maybe with some spruce wood and stuff, that might look good. And after a little bit of building, both islands should now be done. It's nothing too fancy, but we can always expand it if we do need more chests. And honestly, this is probably going to be enough chests for like a while. Now we have three small islands left. This one I want to use as like like our farming area for our farm minions so we kind of have a layout started now it's gonna look a lot like this one over here except there's not gonna be cages now we want to have both crop and animal minions on this island so i think these back three back ones here are gonna be for animals and i kind of like this fence pattern here so that they won't be able to like get out i was thinking about going with like a barn house instead originally but like i'm not very good at making barns and it would probably look a little weird on an island so i think this will look pretty good and that should be another island complete. And honestly, we probably aren't going to be using either like crop or animal minions like a lot for right now. But one minion we do want to start using is the potato minion. In potato collection level 8, there's a hot potato book that we can craft. And we can combine this book with a weapon or armor piece to gain a small but permanent stat boost. And apparently these are like really good. They do cost a ton of potatoes though, so getting a potato minion started is probably a smart idea. We also have a couple of stacks of enchanted potatoes from farming the potato farm earlier this episode so we can upgrade this guy a couple of times and that is potato minion level six so we should start getting a ton more potatoes now we're down to two more small islands this last bigger island is where we want to put all of our ore minions and i actually kind of have a cool idea for this i don't know if it's gonna work but i'm thinking we can have like a divot in the island and then it'll kind of be like a mine shaft area down there where we have all of our minions and then maybe we have like a crane up top or something i think that might be really cool so first off we can start by digging a hole and then with a hole in place we can start making the divot and that is looking pretty good so far we can also collect up some ores with our silk touch pickaxe and then we can texture the inside of this place with some of the ores 
And that is going to be where we put all of our orb minions. We don't really have any right now, or we don't have any minion slots right now. We might try and get some later on in the episode. But for right now, this is actually looking pretty good. I think I need to do something with like the like the surrounding area. And I think we're going to have like a crane right here going above uh, like our orb area. But other than that, I really don't know what to put here. But yeah, I think we should at least start by making a small crane here. Also, quick update on our spider minion. It looks like after a while their inventories do actually fill up So I guess that means we will actually still get the combat and like string collection experience Which is like really good. So this spider farm is gonna be awesome Also, I kind of want to make like a structure surrounding these guys. So they're not just like hovering in the air I don't know like maybe like a cloud or something But if any of you have any suggestions I'd love to hear it as well as like if you guys have any suggestions for any of these other builds I'd love to hear it in the comments, but yeah back to a crane building and after a little bit of time this actually looks awesome i'm really happy with how this turned out we got a crane bringing like supplies down to the mining area and then i kind of made the edges not so flat and again i am so happy with this this looks awesome now we're down to the final island and i think this one's gonna be for our enchanting table i can't really think of anything else to put here we pretty much have everything on all of our other islands i don't really have a plan for this but i think we're gonna make most of the floor here out of like cobble stone and mossy cobblestone now although i think we're mostly just going to use normal bookshelves around this enchantment table if we actually look in sugarcane collections i think yeah sugarcane level six we unlocked the enchanted bookshelf recipe and i have like no clue what this does but it kind of looks cool so i kind of want to craft one or two up so we can quickly harvest a bunch of sugarcane and craft a bunch of enchanted paper we should then be able to combine Combine that with some enchanted oak logs and we're able to craft an enchanted bookshelf yeah I have no clue what these do but they do look kind of cool oh actually it might just supercharge the enchantment table because if we break both of these yeah it says we need different bookshelf power for all of the different enchantments so I guess instead of like a ton of bookshelves we really only need like two enchanted bookshelves but just this on an island probably won't look the greatest so we can probably also add a couple piles of like books around the place and then with some added light i think that is all of the surrounding islands complete obviously this is not done we can always add and change some of these islands like the bottom of most of these islands look really plain at the moment it's just like stone and i want to kind of change that but we are running very low on time for this episode so i think i'll probably do that in between episodes and if we ever need more room we can always add some more islands and expand a little bit and there's also like the inside of the islands that we haven't even used yet but yeah now we can finally move all of these chests on our old island into our storage system although th yeah this is probably going to take us a little bit of time and with all of our items in the storage islands now this starter island has nothing and so we can start filling in the bigger middle island and i think it would actually be cool to like keep the starter island in this bigger island and that should be the entire center island filled in also i can't place a block at zero zero which is a little weird but right below this gravel block i'm pretty sure yeah there's a piece of bedrock so i actually think we can incorporate this into the build yeah i guess that looks okay it looks pretty good i still don't know what we're even gonna put on this big middle island here i think it'll just be for like our projects that we're working on in like an episode one thing i do want to add though is like a trophy wall because i think that'd be pretty cool like kind of just a place where we keep all of the items that are like kind of rare that we've collected over over like the past couple of episodes and again i'm probably gonna change how most of this bigger island looks when i actually have an idea but for right now this should be good for like kind of a trophy wall and then we can add things like our three new year's cakes the pink wool from the pink sheep that we accidentally killed uh, at the start of this episode this enchanted pumpkin was given to us by toasted so that that's pretty rare and then the whoopee cushion because why not <laughs> and then i almost forgot but we do also have to add all like the paths and bridges over to each of the islands and that should be our entire base complete. Obviously, we still have a ton of work to do, and we can always add and change things later. But yeah, I think to end off this episode, I think we're gonna try and get an extra minion slot so that we can place in another spider minion. And that means upgrading some of our existing minions so we can do spider minion level 5, 6, and 7. Then we can do cobblestone minion 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 
and then we can do dark oak minion level two and spruce level two as well and that is 12 minion slots and then we can craft ourselves another spider minion and place it up here as well and i actually think that's going to be all for this episode so thank you all so much for watching i do hope you all did enjoy i'm so glad we were able to upgrade our islands this is starting to look awesome and i know it was more of a building episode than a grinding episode but next episode we're back on the grind but yeah that's all for now don't forget to like and subscribe and other than that hope you all have an awesome rest of your day